So today I want to show you the different ways to place electrodes on your head, face, or neck for treating different headache disorders. There's a lot of studies out there for migraine, tension headache, uh, TMJ headache, neck pain that causes headache. So I wanted to show you a few different placements of electrodes and then in the description I'll put in what the parameters they use for some of these studies so you can see the differences. But really the main goal for these are to use what's called conventional TENS and with those parameters the goal is to really stimulate the sensory nerves to create what's called a paresthesia or a numbness that will block pain from those areas. So here's a few examples of what we're trying to do with, with placement of the electrodes. So with this placement on the forehead, I have two electrodes right above my eyes. These are trying to stimulate the supraorbital nerve um, related to migraine. So this is going to stimulate this branch of the trigeminal nerve um, and give the kind of a numbness and tingling feeling to the forehead. It's not going to be super, super intense, but you'll get this buzzing. It's slightly uncomfortable. Um, and again, the, the the parameters that are set based on like frequency and pulse width and intensity will be in the in the notes. So take a look at those. But here's one example of, of electrode placement. So the next placement is actually adding on to this and it's actually placing them on. So I'll turn these so they're not in the way. So another one is adding to the cheeks as well. So these ones are kind of going also if you're having like a headache, whether it's tension headache or, or, or migraine, where they're now getting some of the jaw pain as well. So it's forehead and jaw pain. And here is another electrode set up with this, you'd have to actually with your device use both channels. So mine is a 10, 7,000. Um, so here now we're treating not just the pain at the forehead, but also in the jaw. Right? And that is also another placement if we're doing just for TMJ or jaw pain related headache, just doing the cheek. So you can do one on each side, especially if you have bilateral pain. And then for some studies, if you're just having one-sided jaw pain or face pain, you can just put it on the one side. For that, I would use smaller electrodes. So with that, I'm kind of going to put it up here right on my one muscle here at the kind of the temple. And then I will use another electrode kind of right. If you kind of clench your teeth, you can feel where the muscle belly is. You kind of want to put the electrodes right over where the pain goes. Now the problem with some of these is that the hairline can get in the way and make them not stick very well. So that might be a problem for some electrode placement. So right here, so if I'm doing the one sided jaw pain, kind of right here in the masseters and then right up here where I can get some of the, some of the temporalis, All right? And you could actually do that on both sides as well, just like I did with the other treatment. And then we can also start getting some other ones for people that have, you know, some jaw pain and some neck pain. So right here in the jaw and then right where the mastoid process is right here where your sternocleidomastoid muscle inserts, you can also put another electrode there. So it's kind of like just behind the ear, you'll feel this bony prominence. It can go right there. A lot of people when they're, when they have some neck pain, this is one of the targeted areas we try to get. So jaw and neck. And then you can also keep that on if you're doing some of the neck pain right through here, right over that mastoid process again. And then putting the electrode further down the neck, like if you're getting in the shoulder, this is more for a tension headache. And putting it right in right on that muscle, right where it would be sore or tender, wherever that tender point is, that's really where you want to treat it. So those are some examples of TENS, place, TENS PET electrode placements that you can use. 
Um, there's a lot more out there for just on the neck, both bilateral, so, you know, below the hairline and then down right here on the shoulders, both sides, kind of what would be called like a coat hanger placement, where a lot of people with tension, headache, and migraine might have additional, you know, musculoskeletal soreness or pain. So that's a common placements for electrodes. Some of the parameters that people are using for, for migraine and tension headache tends to be um, are in the frequency, you, anywhere from 40 to 150 hertz. And then the pulse width that they're using for a lot of parameters um, is anywhere from 100 to 250 um, microseconds. Uh, ampl amplitude or milliamps that they use or the intensity varies as well anywhere from usually pretty low to pretty intense for most people. But the majority of people, when we're trying to do sensory nerve stimulation, the intensity is supposed to be fairly low. So many of these conventional parameters are high frequency, low intensity, and that's to create that paresthesia or numbness that you're going for to block the pain signals that are going to your brain.